Hi, I'm Mr. Wong Ming Yong. I'm going to discuss with you how, how do we describe a displacement time graph. Okay, the thing that we look out for when we describe a displacement time graph right, will be velocity. And velocity is actually equal to the displacement over time. And which part of the displacement time graph actually tells us the ratio of a displacement over time? It's actually the gradient of the graph. Well, the gradient is the ratio of the y-axis over the x-axis and the y-axis here is displacement, x-axis is time so the gradient actually tells us the ratio of displacement against time so this is actually the gradient of the displacement time graph okay so to look at uh, velocity right we just need to look at the gradient okay Okay, let's look at the five graphs that are drawn on the on the board. The first graph which is indicated by a red line. This is a horizontal line that passes through zero. So horizontal line has zero gradient. Zero gradient, we say that the object is moving at zero velocity. Okay, second graph, blue line. It's again another horizontal line. Horizontal line, the gradient is zero. So this is again zero velocity. So what's the difference between one and two? This is a zero velocity at zero meter. And the blue line is zero velocity at five meter. Okay? Basically this means that this object represented by the red line is stationary at a position that is zero meter. And the blue line represents an object that is stationary at five meter. Okay, uh, graph number 3 is actually a straight line that is sloping upwards. Okay, so in this case, this line here has a constant gradient. So we say that uh, this object is moving at constant velocity. Okay, let's look at graph 4. This black line has an increasing gradient because it is getting steeper and steeper as time increases so we say that this is actually increasing velocity okay graph number five we find that as time goes by it becomes less and less thick so when it becomes less and less thick the gradient will decrease and we say that this is decreasing velocity and this five, this five graph actually sums up uh, the different kinds of displacement time graph.